Hey what's up guys, Devin here from Dignited. Today I want to show you how to get started with Mid Journey, an AI program you can use to create stunning images. Alright, let's get into it. Mid Journey is an independent research lab that produces proprietary AI or artificial intelligence program. This AI creates images from text descriptions served through prompts. Now, Mid Journey is currently still in beta and can only be accessed through the Discord bot. So to get started, create an account with Discord. Discord is a text and video chat application mostly used by gamers. So head over to discord.com and create an account with your email address or your Google account. You can use Discord via your web browser or you can download it to your Mac computer or Windows PC. After you've created an account with Discord and signed in, head over to midjourney.com and click on join beta. This will redirect you to the midjourney bot on Discord. This is really where the magic begins to happen. Now, midjourney is both free and paid. So you can take advantage of the free trial package to get started. However, you get only 20 jobs with a free trial, after which you'll have to upgrade to the paid version. All right, so to create images, go to a channel with the bot. For beginners, simply click on any of the newbie channels. So I'm just going to go with uh, newbies 109 here. Now, what you want to do is type slash imagine in the text box and then this will be followed by what's called a prompt so just do that now a prompt is a phrase or a text description about the image you want the ai to generate for you this can be anything but read through mid journey's terms and conditions you can't generate nude images for instance so i'm just going to think about something that i've always uh, thought about since i was uh, a young kid and that is a mega city along the river nile so let's try that and see what the ai brings for us all right so it takes about 60 seconds and you can see it's right here uh, it's trying to generate that it's currently at 12 percent so as it's generating you can see other people's images that are being generated and the bot basically generates four images in a four by four grid and this will come along with other images generated by other users on the channel so just keep track of your response this will uh, take a little bit of scrolling it's kind of annoying because it's not very easy to keep track of your own response so i'm just going to scroll and find mine right it's right here so if you want to make things easy i recommend that you send the message to yourself so just come to reactions here and then just search for envelope right here okay and tap on it yeah so discord is going to send the generated images to your inbox and now it's quite easier to keep track of what's being generated so you can uh, just look through some of the results here and i think i kind of like this kind of looks realistic you can click on open original which is still a very small image what you want to do is to upscale the image right so i'm just going to click on jump to message here once again and you can see these uh, buttons here the u buttons and the v buttons so the buttons u1 u2 u3 and u4 are for upscaling the generated images whereas buttons v1 v2 v3 and v4 are for creating different versions of the generated image so if you want to upscale an image just click on u1 for instance here okay yeah so it's being upscaled right now so upscaling an image generates a larger roughly 1024 by 1024 pixel version of the selected image so let's just see what it comes up with here all right and it's done i'm just going to click on it you can see that this is a much bigger image i'm going to send it to myself again to my inbox so that i can keep track of it because then you don't have all the noise of other users on the platform yeah so just tap on this image to see the full version right here 
and you can now click on open original which should open on your browser right here you can see it's a big image and now here you can save this to your computer by right clicking on it and then you can now say save image as I'm just going to say city along the river Nile. All right, and there you go. It's a PNG and when you tap on it, it's right here. So you can share this image on social media or wherever or any other image program that you wish. All right, so let's just go back to Discord again. Here you go. And there are a couple of uh, other options here when you use the button to upscale. For instance, can upscale to max, which upscales the image to an even larger resolution of about 1664 by 1664. All right, I think the upscaling is done and just have to click on it again and then click on open original. And now we have an even bigger image right here that has been generated for us. This looks really gorgeous. Yeah, it looks really futuristic. If you've been to the River Nile in Uganda here in Jinja, it's not anything like this, but this looks quite awesome. All right. So you have to understand that whatever you generate is public. Uh, it can be seen by everyone else on the channel. So just make sure that you don't put anything sensitive. I uh, don't put sensitive information in here, passwords, credit card information, uh, email addresses and all that. Now I want to just show you guys a couple of commands that you can use. We have already used the imaging command here, which is used to generate images based on the text description that we put there. But the other command that I want to show you guys is actually info. So this shows information about your profile, the plan or subscription that you've chosen, your current usage, and then the current running job. So another command you can easily use is slash help. So this shows uh, some helpful tips and tricks on how to use the platform. There you go. You have a couple of uh, tips and tricks here on how to use Midjourney on Discord here. Yeah, which is uh, some of the things I've already showed. So you can go back to your uh, images by coming to direct messages here and then you click on the mid journey board so these are some of my uh, images that have been generated by the ai this is a much better way for me to keep track of what i have generated right yeah so you can also uh, use the slash show command followed by the job id this should bring up that particular job that the AI created here and you can go back and create variations or upscale the image or do whatever you want to do. Great. All right. So uh, you have 25 free jobs to do uh, presently, which do not expire and will also not renew. So once you've used all of them, you can use the slash subscribe to any bot channel to purchase a membership starting from, I think, $20 per month. All right. You can follow the link me journey generates to your subscription page. All right. So go ahead, uh, look at some inspiration from uh, what other people are already creating. Look at some of the prompts. The most important thing are the text descriptions that you enter into the AI to generate those images. You can use that to basically just generate your own images. Yeah, so this has been my really simple introduction to Midjourney, which is a generative AI that is used to uh, generate really fancy images based on text prompts. Otherwise, like the video. If you found value in this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.